Next, first night New Hampshire with revelers in Concord ready to ring in the new year. Y2K watch state agencies, phone and power companies on alert. And guns and drugs seized during a DWI stop. Those stories coming up at 11. Something new is here. A whole new way to take care of heartburn. Introducing Pepsid AC Gel Caps. Just one gel cap controls as much acid as a whole roll of tones. An idea that's very easy to swallow. New Pepsid AC Gel Caps. Well, you look at that. They changed the Camry. Introducing the newly updated Camry. I like it. Should have used Energizer. They keep going and going and going and going. Cellular One, clear across America. Now, what will it be, sweetheart? Let me guess. A nice, cold Pepsi. I wouldn't want to hear one of those crazy voices of yours, huh? Honey, you ain't heard nothing yet. Hit it, fellas. Sunday, January 9th, it's the first new practice of a new millennium. I think something is going on. A controversial client fires up a lawyer's passion in more ways than one. 1 1.6 times a week. Last year, it was 3.9. I need more sex. An all-new practice returns ABC Sunday, January 9th. You do the math. Psst, come closer. The lottery doesn't know I'm here, but wanted to let you in on a little secret about one of their games. Tri-State Megabucks produced more jackpot winners than any other game. Awarded over $900 million in total cash prizes, which would tide me over. With all these winners and a drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night, no wonder Megabucks is one of New Hampshire's favorite games. Play Tri-State Megabucks today. And uh, could you get me a couple of easy picks, so, and some milk and bread. And don't forget to pick up a win cash ticket, too. Cool. <laughs> this is Red Roger Six. Come in. But I thought I was Red Roger Six. No, you are Red Roger's dorky companion. Now at U.S. Cellular, our new expanded area plans start at nineteen ninety-five a month. Hey, when are you gonna move out of Mom's house? Man, talk about ugly. What do we got for damage there? Go ahead, thirty-five, thirty-five. For the arm, then I'll tie in the glass. Holly boy, we're going to need a cross arm out here. Is that pole cracked? This is going to take a one odd splice. Charlie boy to 3535. We've got you covered. No matter how bad it gets, there are some people you can always count on. Public Service of New Hampshire, supporting your life in every moment. This is a News 9 update from the WMUR Broadcast Center. And good evening, everyone. I'm Karen Brown coming to you from the WMUR Broadcast Center. All eyes are on the clock. It is almost time to say goodbye to 1999 and say hello to a new century. All across the state, Granite Staters are out celebrating in Portsmouth, Nashua, Keene, Wolfboro, Conway, and communities large and small. They are ready to ring in the new year, and it's the same case in Concord. 
Here we have scenes from Portsmouth earlier this evening. They are a first night site and people were hitting the streets around six o'clock to join in the fun. Hundreds of volunteers spent the uh, earlier part of the day preparing for the first night festivities. 20 different sites around the port city are packed with people ringing in the new year. They have street dancing, puppet parade, and ice sculptures to entertain those who turned out to say goodbye to 1999. And now let us go to Concord and find WMUR's Kate Amara. She is joining us now live for an update on the first night festivities in the capital city. Kate? We have entered the last hour of 1999, less than an hour now until the countdown begins. You might be fooled by the big crowd behind me. Not as many people turned out as were expected, but as you can see, they are full of spirit. They bundled up and headed outside. Granite State are celebrating the new year and... It's our anniversary. Our uh, eight, 18th anniversary, 18th. Or You're so. supposed to know that. <laughs> I get confused. It's 18 long, long, wonderful years. <laughs> First night officials estimate about 5,000 people bought buttons for the event, but some were still asking, where are the people? Usually it's mobbed. Many people were working New Year's Eve, including every state trooper. I guess it comes with the turf. You have to work, you have to work. Dozens of state and private agencies set up at the New Hampshire Office of Emergency Management to keep an eye out for Y2K-related disruptions. Well, we've been working for several years now and have spent uh, millions of dollars to check all of our equipment. The governor was on duty, too, checking on Y2K feedback and addressing safety concerns. I think the crowd's probably not as big as we would have hoped, but I think that's understandable. People are balancing concerns about any potential threat with the desire to go out and celebrate. One family celebrated with caution, carrying a police scanner along with their noisemakers. I got my family here, you know, I want to know exactly what's happening and uh, want to be safe around here, you know, latest up to date news and. The latest news is no news, no glitches so far, and police say they've had no incidents reported. And contrary to previous reports, there will indeed be an official countdown right here at the clock tower in Concord in less than an hour. Live in Concord, packed into a group of revelers. I'm Kate Amara, WMUR News 9. Kate, hey, thank you. Happy New Year to you. So what about the Y2K prognosis for New Hampshire? From what they've seen elsewhere, emergency management officials are confident that New Year's Eve will be a non-event in terms of glitches. Officials are waiting, however, for the midnight hour to pass and say there will be another critical test Monday morning when New Hampshire businesses reopen after the long holiday weekend. State and local law enforcement officials are investigating a puzzling discovery in Canterbury, New Hampshire. They found a stolen U-Haul loaded with survival gear, guns and merchandise. And two people allegedly connected to the truck are under arrest. WMUR's Jean Mack and just returned from State Police Headquarters. She has the very latest. Jean? State Police arrested two suspects Wednesday night, but are just releasing this information tonight. They say a stolen U-Haul truck and trailer were abandoned in a field in Canterbury in November. Just recently, a resident notified State Police about the U-Haul. Troopers searched it and found strange contents. Four handguns, ammunition, night vision goggles, cases of food and clothing. When a man and woman, apparently from New York, showed up at the scene, they were arrested. Now state and federal authorities are investigating. We really have no indication at this point in time that these people are related in any way to any terrorist organization. Uh, uh, they may be just uh, people uh, on the run for whatever reason, uh, and it just so happens that the, the vehicles that we were able to seize uh, uh, had been stolen uh, from a uh, uh, rental company as a result. The male suspect is tentatively identified as 27-year-old Chi Vincent of New York City. The female suspect is still unidentified, though she was apparently carrying several forms of false ID. We'll bring you more information as soon as we learn it. Reporting live from the newsroom, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.
Weapons also seized in Londonderry during a DWI stop. 30-year-old Matthew Husco of Newcastle and 31-year-old Paula Goddard of Manchester were pulled over on a secluded Londonderry road around 1 a.m. Police found a loaded submachine gun, an assault rifle, and seven other loaded guns, including an estimated 1,000 rounds of ammunition. In addition to weapons charges, Husco was also charged with DWI. Goddard faces crack cocaine charges. No such thing as a routine stop. And very early on in an officer's career, we, we train them to be careful on a motor vehicle stop, uh, doubly so at night. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms has been called in to the investigation. Both suspects are being held on bail. Three teenagers are under arrest tonight, charged with two armed robberies in Portsmouth. Police say a man with a cloth over his face went into the lobby of the Holiday Inn, showed a handgun and demanded money from the desk clerk. About an hour later, a second armed robbery occurred at a charter food store. 19-year-old Brandon Stelmach of Kittery, Maine, 18-year-old Stephen Drew of Newmarket, and a 16-year-old from York, Maine were caught by police in Rye. Two of the suspects are also charged with robbing the Newfields General Store last week. A Hillsboro teenager has died from injuries she suffered in a car accident on Wednesday night. 17-year-old Teresa Fortin died today from massive head injuries. The car she was riding in hit a tree. A 15-year-old girl from Hillsborough also suffered serious injuries. The driver of the car, 16-year-old Brittany Main of Hillsborough, was treated and released for minor injuries. The cause of the accident remains under investigation. We still have more to come in this local update in sports. College football takes center stage. Brad Dupuy will be in to run down all of today's bowl action. And the big question in weather as we turn into 2000, where or oh where is winter? Yes, it's cold out there now, but a warm up tomorrow. Your full forecast coming up. People really have no idea how hard we have to train to stay on top of our game. To succeed in the men's clothing business, it takes dedication. And above all, it takes teamwork. Nothing in men's clothing is by accident. The key to our success comes from our continuous education. Grip, then shake, okay? Guys, guys try it. Sure, we make it look easy, but that's part of the magic. At Georgia's, a satisfied customer to us is like hitting a home run, just without the helmet and tight pants. This is New Hampshire at its best, the mounted police of Dover. There's some pretty compelling evidence that horses have a way of creating a good rapport between police and the community and as a result, reduce crime. How does a good idea like Dover's Mounted Police Program get started? Like many success stories in our state, the answer is community involvement and PSNH, Public Service of New Hampshire, supporting your life in every moment. What is value pricing? Can I get back to you on that? People ask, what is value pricing? It's simple. They have salespeople, we have furniture consultants. They have misleading advertising with promises of 40, 50, even 60% off. We have one low price, 365 days a year. They want to add on the cost of delivery and setup. Value pricing includes free delivery and setup. So an idea, guys. It's only at Ippolito's. Ippolito's Furniture, where value pricing saves you money. Now, meteorologist Mike Haddad with your New Hampshire weather. And fair skies turn into partly to mostly cloudy conditions up north, capping the temperature drop, but still chilly there. In southern sections right now into the teens to around 20, so in another hour, Yes, just after the midnight hour, we'll be back into the lower teens around the Lakes region, back through Hanover, Lebanon, and upper teens in southern parts of the state. As mentioned, we did drop below zero a couple of hours ago in Berlin, but now up to two. Why? Well, there's a high cloud cover rolling in, and it's a little bit thicker in upstate New York. As a matter of fact, there are a few snow flurries up here, but most of those will graze extreme northern parts of the Great North Woods. Otherwise, it should remain dry through the overnight. As you can see, radar scopes are showing up with a few flurries. Again, mainly around Messina, New York, approaching Burlington. We'll work across the notches on north in the next several hours, maybe an isolated dusting. Otherwise, again, mostly on the dry side. As we turn our attention further off to the west, one week system is going to fly through here tomorrow with just a few high clouds. And then as we ring in the next couple of days, a southwest flow ahead of this moisture will warm us up well above the average for tomorrow afternoon and again on Sunday. After that, the plot may thicken a little bit as some colder air tries to build in behind it, catches up to some moisture, and that may change rain 
over to some snow as early as Tuesday. For January, in the next couple of days, we're expecting normal highs of 30, but we'll be well above that normal high by maybe 15 degrees. By the end of this month, we average a high of 31. Normal snow in January is 18 inches, and we need double that to just make up for the lack of snow we have seen in the last few months. By the end of this weekend, cold air driving down towards the plains, mild showers out ahead of it, and that'll be our weather for Sunday. And then by Monday and Tuesday, slightly colder air will build in. Probably not cold enough for snow until possibly on Tuesday. But for the overnight, in the next several hours, fair skies in southern areas, some clouds up north, could be a few isolated flurries, mainly in the great north woods. Up there in the single numbers, but elsewhere between 10 and 18, that 18 degree reading along the coast. Now, New Year's Day itself, partly sunny, could be some stubborn clouds early in the morning up north, then warming up into the mid to upper 30s. And in southern areas, 40 to 44. That's again, well above the average. For Sunday, we've got the clouds, maybe a few showers. The best shot of showers Sunday will be in the afternoon as I see it right now. And then Monday, occasional showers. The next wave of low pressure could catch up to us as early as Tuesday and early on Wednesday. At that time, enough cold air will be up north to support snow in southern areas. It'll be right on that battle zone for mm. snow and rain. Actually, this may be the first event that we're talking about a borderline situation because we haven't had any storms to speak of so true. far. Well, Happy New Year. What's your you resolution? Too. Oh, I've got so many, I can't even begin to start to explain what they are. <laughs> You'll tell me afterward, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Sure. All right, let's bring Brad Dupuy on and go bowling. Go bowling, absolutely. <laughs> a lot of bowl games, and actually this is just the precursor to the real heavy-duty stuff that comes in the next couple of days. True. But there was a lot of action on the football field today. We'll run it all down, plus tell you about a special millennium race at Londonderry High School today. <laughs> At Doble's, we've sharpened our pencils and have written every vehicle down to the lowest dollar. If you think you missed a great deal in 99, you haven't. Like this sporty 4x4 tracker with CD player now just $189 a month. Or tackle winter with a new 4x4 blazer loaded for just $289 a month. We have to move 600 vehicles. So write it on your calendar, write it on your hand, but don't miss the sale of the century. The Doble's write-down sale, now through December 31st. Psst, come closer. The lottery doesn't know I'm here, but wanted to let you in on a little secret about one of their games. Tri-State Megabucks produced more jackpot winners than any other game, awarded over $900 million in total cash prizes, which would tide me over with all these winners and a drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. No wonder Megabucks is one of New Hampshire's favorite games. Play Tri-State Megabucks today, and uh, could you get me a couple of easy picks, so, and some milk and bread? And don't forget to pick up a win cash ticket, too. Don't miss New Year's weekend at Longo's Furniture and Bedding. The big one is here. Building sold. Gone. It's a massive furniture sell down. A huge furniture blow off. Two big days with approved credit, no payments, no interest for one full year. Over one full acre of furniture. This New Year's weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. 16 big hours. New Year's weekend, Saturday and Sunday. The building has been sold. Longo's Furniture and Bedding, New Hampshire's largest furniture showroom on the DW Highway North in Manchester. Now, Brad Dupuis with WMUR and News 9 Sports. Good evening, everybody, and Happy New Year. We kick things off with the sport that owns this particular holiday. We're talking about college football. Let's go bowling. We start in Tucson, Boston College, and Colorado hooking up in the Insight.com combo. BC took it on the chin today. All Colorado. Cortland Johnson pounds it in from 10 yards out. 201 yards rushing today for Johnson. 7-0 Colorado. Still in the first 14-0 game. Tim Hasselbeck tries the screen, but Deshaun Sykes picks it off, gets some help from his friends, walks it in. 21-0 Buffaloes. Second quarter, we'll check in with Ben Kelly as he receives the punt, gets some good blocks, and comes up with an even better run. 88 yards to pay dirt. 35-0 Colorado. They go on to knock off number 22, Boston College. 62 28 the final score to El Paso for the Sun Bowl Minnesota taking on Oregon this is the best game of the day 140 left in the game Ducks trailing 20 to 17 Joey Harrington steps back second and goal hits a sliding Keenan Howry in the end zone caps a six play 87 yard drive Oregon goes on to win the Sun Bowl 24 20 the final score to the Independence Bowl Ole Miss taking on 
Oklahoma. Actually, this is the Liberty Bowl. Southern Miss taking on Colorado. Pick it up second quarter. Matt Newton hits Corey Wilson Hume in the end zone. The Rams lead 17-13. The Golden Eagles answer, though, Derek Nix. Big Derek Nix rumbles in from two yards out. Southern Miss takes the Liberty Bowl. 23-17, the final score in the Independence Bowl going on right now. Ole Miss leads Oklahoma 21-18 in the third quarter. Down at the Orange Bowl Parade tonight, the legendary band did the state proud. Band director Andy Susie's group was just one of 10 high school bands from across the country asked to ring in the new millennium down in Miami. Congratulations to the largest group of hometown heroes we've ever honored here at Channel 9. They're extremely talented and were given a national stage this evening to strut their stuff. On to the NFL, and we'll talk about our very own Patriots because we have to. They're trying to salvage a 500 season when they host Baltimore on Sunday and what will likely be Pete Carroll's last game as head coach of the Pats. And here's the latest chapter in the Terry Glenn saga. He has withdrawn his appeal of his suspension for Sunday's game. Glenn was told by the NFL Players Association that there wasn't enough time to hold a hearing. Pete Carroll said even if the suspension was overturned, Glenn would not have played in a game that might go a long way towards showing everyone just how much heart this team has. Every time they turn the scoreboard on, we're trying to win. And, uh, you know, we'd rather finish 8-8, eight and eight, at least finish 500 even, as opposed to finish the 7 and I was losing record. What's most important is they do a great job this week and help our guys play the, the best football game they can play and give ourselves a chance to win. On to some good news here. Former Dartmouth quarterback Jay Fiedler will start on Sunday in place of Mark Brunell in Jacksonville Jaguars season finale against the Cincinnati Bengals. Fiedler has done well this year, filling in from Brunell and is looking forward to the shot. I don't, I don't mind being thrown into the fire and, and getting some pressure on me. That's uh, that's fine with me. Uh, you know, I don't know if I ever envisioned uh, a certain situation for for my first start, but uh, this is the situation I'm in now, and uh, I'm ready to take it. On to some fast feet, a world-class field taking part in today's Millennium Mile at London Dairy High School. The field featured at least seven runners shooting for next summer's U.S. Olympic team and a few former Channel 9 hometown heroes to boot. No records today because the course was pretty much downhill and it showed. On the men's side, Scott Anderson is your winner with a time of 3.51. Among the local finishers, Jeff Nickerson, John Mortimer, John Fesch, and Matt Down and all placed in the top 10. On the women's side... Amy Lyman is your winner with a time of 425. She is from Bedford and a very fast runner as well. And that wraps up the last sports cast here at Channel 9 for this millennium. Well, Happy New Year's to you. Happy New Year to you too as well. And we've got about 42 minutes until midnight and a new century from all of us here at WMUR-TV. We want to wish you too a happy new year. Have a great night and stay safe. We are going to leave you with a look at some of the New Year's celebrations from around the world. Good night. Standouts in their respective classes. Collectively, they paint a portrait of daring and innovation. Characteristics that lead to the affordable fun of Dodge Neon. Right now, you can get a Neon loaded with a ton of great features and save with a $1,000 cash allowance, or qualified buyers can get 0.9 APR long term financing. If you're ready to move in a different direction, get to the Dodge year end event today. Guess who's been seen at George's Apparel? Ralph Lauren, Bill Blass, and Franco Tassi. They're just a few of the famous designer suits you'll see at George's. We're constantly updating our look with new clothing lines like quality Allen Flusser business suits and comfortable Talia menswear, all priced up to 30% below retail. And as always, every suit you buy is tailored for a perfect fit, free of charge. George's Apparel, where designer label suits cost less every day. 
ABC 2000, the celebration of the millennium. Brought to you by Polaroid, see what develops. And by Toyota, taking you into the new millennium. Select Polaroid cameras and film. Here we go. Save now before December 31st. Here we go. How do you enhance a V8 engine that produces 245 horsepower? A chassis that can haul up to 2,000 pounds? Or brakes that have four piston calipers? Simple. Add about six pounds of steel. Toyota Tundra, Motor Trend Truck of the Year, and four-wheel and off-road magazines, 4x4 four four of the year. You are in the fight of your life. Just you against your smoking addiction, one-on-one. -on -one. Trouble is, it's not a fair fight, and few people win it. But you can give yourself a fighting chance to win with Zyban. Zyban doesn't work for everyone. Zyban is part of a comprehensive program from your doctor to help you stop smoking. It's different from nicotine replacements. Zyban is the only prescription medicine that's nicotine free. So you don't have to stop smoking all at once. As Zyban reduces your cravings, you feel like smoking less and less until you're ready to stop completely because you're ready to win. You should know there is a risk of seizure associated with Zyban. To reduce the risk, don't take Zyban if you have or have had a seizure or eating disorder or if you take Wellbutrin. Don't take Zyban if you use an MAO inhibitor. Side effects may include dry mouth and difficulty sleeping. Ask your doctor if Zyban is right for you because it can help you quit smoking by making it a fight you can win. Zyban, you don't have to quit all at once. no ambient illumination. It's scary. Yet objects give off energy in the form of heat. It would be amazing if you could see what's out there. DeVille DTS thermal detection system with a head-up display projects images of the road ahead. Beyond the range of your headlamps. The all-new DeVille DTS. The world's first car available with night vision. The power of and. The fusion of design and technology. Cadillac. Boy, the things we don't think about when we're young. I'm Peggy Fleming, and now that I'm older and wiser, I think about the brittle bones that I could get if I wasn't taking a calcium supplement. So I take Oscal every day. Only Oscal's been proven effective in more clinical studies and comes from a natural calcium source and has been recommended by more doctors than Caltrate and Citrical combined. If you're getting older, get wiser too. Don't take chances, take Oscal. He talked the talk. I'm the greatest. I'm the prettiest. I'm the fastest. He walked the walk. Here was something else. But when his dream, future heavyweight champion of the world, collided with his cause, my religion means more to me than some fight. He divided a nation. This is my destiny. And changed the world. You ready? I told you I was coming. Now the story of how he became the greatest athlete of our time. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. An ABC original motion picture event. This is my history. I am king of the world. Terrence Howard and the practice is Steve Harris star in Muhammad Ali, King of the World. Monday, January 10th on ABC. Whoopie, Whoopie, Nito! What is your location? Over there in the plants. Oh, thanks, Mom. Cell phone's cool. <laughs> this is Red Roger 6. Come in. Wait, I thought I was Red Roger 6. No, you are Red Roger's dorky companion.
Now at U.S. Cellular, our new expanded area plans start at $19.95 a month. Hey, when are you going to move out of Mom's house? You hear it every day, promises of 50, 60, 70% off. I always ask off what? I don't know of any furniture store that sells at full retail. That's why at Ippolito's we have value pricing. I am value man, value man, value man. At Ippolito's one low price is all you'll find. So what's it going to be? Promises, promises, promises. Or everyday value pricing at Ippolito's Furniture. Ippolito's Furniture, where value pricing saves you money. Route 3, Meredith, New Hampshire. This is New Hampshire at its best. Hitchner Manufacturing of Milford, more than 50 years old and a leader in its field. How did Hitchner get that way? By collaborating with some of the best technical minds around, like the engineering pros at Public Service of New Hampshire, experts at getting the most from your electric service. It's just one of the many ways PSNH helps New Hampshire businesses do their best work. Public Service of New Hampshire, supporting your life in every moment. With a 180 horsepower VVTLI engine, six speed transmission, 16 inch alloy wheels, a cockpit like interior, and a price dramatically less than most jet powered vehicles. Wings have just become overrated. Introducing the next Celica. Go! Introducing the new AccuView 2 contact lens. So natural, it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. For a free trial pair, call us or visit your eye care professional. Something new is here. A whole new way to take care of heartburn. Introducing Epsid AC gel caps. Just one gel cap controls as much acid as a whole roll of tones. An idea that's very easy to swallow. New Epsid AC gel caps. Thank you. No, no, please. Let me. There you go. You're certainly on your way, son. We have activity. Verify account status. His last payment was a half day late. Raise his rate. Initiating interest rate increase, sir. If you're late with a payment, some credit cards are happy to automatically raise your interest rates. But a Discover card? No, we don't do that. Remember, there's always something more to discover. The Hurricane is a triumph of the human spirit and one of the best movies of the year. Time Magazine calls it inspiring, a stirring and passionate story that will take your breath away. Denzel Washington is amazing to watch in the performance of a lifetime. We gotta take it to the federal court. Judge is gonna throw it out. Then we transcend the law. We get back to humanity. Golden Globe Award nominee for Best Actor, Best Director, and Best Picture of the Year, The Hurricane. Rated R. Now in select theaters, check local listings. Select Polaroid cameras and film. Here we go. Save now before December 31st. Here we go. A message for the fans of NYPD Blue. Starting January 11th, NYPD Blue is back on ABC. Still on Tuesday night, still at 10, 9 central, just like it should be. Blue is back. The new season begins Tuesday, January 11th on ABC. Your discretion advised. Thanks for still being there.